Hi everyone. <laughs> Gosh, you're right up there. Um, <laughs> this is weird because I can't see what you can see now. Um, this is Sue's Journal Adventures. Um, as a lot of you will know, I am making my own journal. And what I'm going to do, just let me make sure I'm filming. Yes, I am. Um, what I'm going to do, <laughs> I've been coffee dyeing envelopes of differing sizes. My desk is very full again. But it's mainly because I've got this big thing on it. So I've got some envelopes that I've coffee dyed. Um, I've got the traditional, there's no room to move on here. I've got the traditional um, C6 size. I hope you can see me because I've no idea what you can see. Um and these are just square ones i have also coffee dyed some little glassine bags they are quite tiny glassine bags but oh the crinkle factor so yeah i've got some glassine bags um done not sure what i'm going to do with them yet but i just thought i'd come on and show you a little bit of what i'm going to do with my envelopes some of them I want them to be different and I want different things on them. There's something I forgot to get out, but it's only there, so that's fine. Right, so I've got some embossing folders. And I have just embossed a plain uncoffee dyed. Because I didn't know if I'd be able to emboss these. Because sometimes when you emboss things, um, it actually cuts. And with this being so thin, I didn't think it'd do it, but it has, and it looks really pretty. So I might try it on one of the coffee dyed. Um, oh, I've got my dressing gown on because it's cold in this um, bedroom. I haven't had the heating on because I've been out. Um, right, so I'm just going to try. I should really have embossed a few envelopes before I came on here. And then I just had some ready to work on. But I've been so busy getting other stuff out or trying to find stuff that I wanted. Um, yeah, oops, I could have, could have and probably should have, whoopsie, done this before I came on camera. Oh my days. So I'm just embossing a few things. Oh, that's, be that's beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. I have, let me have a look. Uh, yes, there we go. That's a little coffee dyed um, glassine bag. So with these, now the problem is, the problem is that's torn, but never mind. Um, these don't really fit in my embossing folder, do they? Not fully. So I'm either going to have it where the sides are sticking out. I hope you can see. Yeah, you can. Um, or I'm going to have it off to one side. I think I'm going to have it off one to side, off to one side if I can talk, which usually I can't. So I'm just going to run a few envelopes through. Not many, I'm just going to decorate a few. But it's really just to, oh, why won't you go through all of a sudden? It went through a minute ago. Oh, it's thicker, isn't it? It's, um, yeah, I never know. I had this um, die cutting machine given, and to be really honest, I never know which blooming plates to use for what. Oh, there we go, that's a bit better. No, it's not. No, it really doesn't want to take that. Okay, what do you do then? What do you do? I don't know, what do you do? Take that off, and it goes through, that's not going to do anything. Oh, this is a grand start, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> it has gone through before. And these are the two, oops, finished plates I've got. I'm getting a bit stressed with myself today because with one of my conditions, I am constantly dropping stuff and it's really getting on my nerves today. I, I think I must drop things about 50 times a day. I can't force it, can I? Oh, okay, let's get a thinner embossing folder. Maybe like this one then because it don't want that one. That's okay. That is quite a thick embossing folder actually. So we'll try a smaller one, a thinner one. And let's hope it works because yeah otherwise this is going to be a really fun video isn't it yeah i'm not sure of these plates and how they should go because uh, as i say i had this i had this um die cutting machine and some dies given by a friend of mine which was really lovely of her i'm going to bring it back through because it's easier for me to get it out 
because all my stuff's at that side. Right, so hopefully we've got one done. I don't even know what to do here. Right, now the whole there's a whole of one side not done. Is that a problem? No, because I'm going to do other things to them too. So I'm just going to emboss a few. I've got another die that's a bit thin. It's different. Um, we'll try this one. And we'll do this. Um, do we do it that way? Maybe. The pattern will be a bit weird. They're going across it. but Or shall we do it up it? I don't know. Shall we do it up it? Yeah, we'll do it up it and then we'll do one across. Because I appear to not have many embossing folders that I can actually use <laughs> for this project. Oh, dear me. So, yeah, um, I'm making envelopes very, hopefully, quite vintage style. Um, hopefully, if we can crack on to decorating them. I think I'll just do three because... With the embossing and the decorating, it might turn out being a bit of a, a long video and we don't really want that. That, don't mind, we'll sort that. Um, do I put it in like that? And I'm aware that it will be embossing the back of the envelope as well, but I'm not bothered about that, not bothered. Let's see if we can get this one through. And here we go. So, there we go. I have got some nice embossing folders and I do have to say that that is one of my favourites but it's really thick so my machine doesn't want it although I have used it before but anyway I'm just going to move all this out of the way because we need the space to work in believe it or not I'm going to take this off because I'm getting warm now doing all that embossing <laughs> right let's put these away I was going to whoops See what I mean about putting things on the floor? Oh, right. Um, I was going to do one of the square ones with that on. But um, I obviously didn't and I can't put them now. So let me put them away. I can't remember where I had them. I think they were there. I've moved everything around so I'm in that, that um, can't find anything phase. Right. So that's the done ones. Let's keep the done ones over there and put the not done ones uh, somewhere. I can't believe my desk's full again and I've only just cleared it off. Right, so what we're going to do with this? Well, first of all, I will now bring you down because you don't need to be right up there now. <laughs> you don't need to be up in the heights. So I'm going to get my ink and my ink pad Darby, should I say. And um, we've got three envelopes. So that one is... So these are possibly... Um, they're possibly going to be clipped into my journal. Or they may be stuck down with the flap open. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm going to use them yet. Oops, I just know that I am. Oh, I forgot to put the pin in my glue. Right, so this one, you see, I might, I might even sew one in, in one of the signatures. So it might be sewn in, I'm not sure. But what I'm going to do first, I'll start with this one, is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to do a witty bit of inking. So obviously we want, I want this um, <sighs> journal. I can't think of words. Journal. I want this journal to look quite vintage and old and yeah. I've got I've got kind of got a vision in my head how I want it to look. Um so I'm gonna go with it and just do it. And then oh the imprints on the other side. Oh what are panties. Pants, 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 okay. The imprints on this side. Oh, they're both raised a bit. Oh, I should have turned my thing around because I actually want that side. But never mind, we'll do it here because these are going to be um, clipped in. So you're going to see the back as well. And I'm not bothered 
move that now because we're apparently working on this one now. Um, I'm not bothered that it's raised on different sides. It doesn't bother me. So with this one, you can't really go over that, can you? Kind of bit. <clears throat> so I'm just going to grunge it up a bit anyway. Mainly around the edges. So I'll just quickly do that. And, and then I'm going to decorate them because I want this journal just pretty, pretty, pretty vintage, lacy, old letters and yeah, just, I've, I've got a vision for it. <laughs> I, I hope you actually get to see the vision at some point. Um, so there we are. I'm actually going to coffee dye a sheet tomorrow because... I want a brown coffee dyed sheet as my journal cover and I still haven't done it yet. So that is going to be kind of top of my list tomorrow. Get up, feed the cats, have your coffee and breakfast and then coffee dye your sheet. So I'm going to scrunch up these light areas a little bit because I want them to look old. Right, there's a couple of different things I'm going to do with these because obviously we have one end of the envelope that is not decorated, which is fine because we are going to decorate. We're just going to decorate with different stuff. So I've got some bits of lace out and bits of ribbon and, oh, this is a funny shape, isn't it? Um, mm, I don't know that I'm liking that very much. Uh, we've got this one. Sorry, I just clanged the um, holder then. That's quite light, but it's quite nice. What's it look like through the camera? Can't see. Can't see. Let me move to the side. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. That shows up quite nice. Um, yeah, okay. I'm trying to remember all the different... I've got about three, four different ideas in my head. And I'm trying to remember which is which, what am I doing, where am I doing it, <laughs> what's going on where. So yeah, I think we'll put this on because it's nice. So I'll just move that out of the way. Oh, we might just want this. Thing is, if I get this, there might be... Oh good, there hasn't been a crafter lunch. Good. That's good. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to embrace the really vintage a bit grungy kind of look but I just thought I'd show I've shown you me decorating some of my pages so I thought I would come on and show you decorating some of the envelopes that are going to go on my pages um it's always nice I think to see new ideas of how you can decorate envelopes and they don't all have to be pocket window ones. So <clears throat> I just thought I'd come on and, you know, do something a bit different. It's not right, a lot of glue glowing, not glowing, going on here. And I don't actually know how far I need it to go. But I definitely want it on them tips because I don't want them sticking up. So let's see where that goes to. I may need more glue. So I'm just going to put that down the side there. Oh, more than enough. I actually went a bit too far. Never mind. Um, I've lost my scissors. I had them this afternoon. Oh, they're there. My desk's getting a mess already. I can't believe it. It's like I've just not even done anything yet. It's because there's stuff over here that I still need to sort. So, yep. It was beautifully tidy. But now it's kind of... A bit messy. So I've got that. That doesn't look that amazing at the moment. So I think I want some. I know what I want, but am I going to be able to find it? I thought I'd prepped for this. I've got some stuff out, but now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh, okay, kind of need something else. Um, maybe something like that. And oh my goodness, I'm tearing into a new sheet. Can you believe it? I don't really want to tear into new sheets. 
when I've got all them bits in that box, but needs must for the sake of the video. I can't be faffing about going through loads of different stuff. I did get out stamps, I did get out lace, and I did get out die cuts. I just kind of forgot the papery things that I might need. I've lost my ink now. I've lost my ink and I've lost my dauber. I'm guessing it's behind them. Right, so I'm just going to ink this. And then... <clears throat> I am going to delve into my lace pieces box. So I've got a lace bits box, which you've seen the mess that that is. Um, but I'm going to delve into my pieces box, not my bits. So I think I quite want that. Maybe just, actually I shouldn't have stuck my men's down, should I? Yeah, I shouldn't have done. I want that under them. So good, good it's not quite dry yet. Um, put some glue on the back of this. I think I might use my big one for big pieces like this. <clears throat> so there we are. I hope you've all had a nice day, a nice weekend, whatever you've been doing. I've been cleaning my craft room most of the time and, well, sorting the craft room. I haven't cleaned it yet. It desperately needs hoovering because I spilt some glitter in it. But, um, yeah. There we go. Pop that just under there. Okay, and then I'll just put a bit of glue on them so that they stick down again. Because silly old me, I had to pull them up. I should have thought about the thing before. But I didn't know. To be honest, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know whether I'm stamping it, inking it, die cutty, thinging it. I don't know, so I get doing it. So there we go, we've got that. That looks a bit vintagey and nice, doesn't it? So I'm just, oh, what am I doing? I'm just going to go into my lace, pieces of lace box and see what I can find that I think looks really pretty. Or might look, ooh, got a bit of that. That's white though. Well, it's okay, we can do white as well. Um, I, um, I just need to find a piece uh that's no good that could be a pocket though couldn't it um these these are bits but the kind of bigger bits if that makes any sense well of course it does um i do believe that somewhere in here there is some oh that's nice what's that i'm looking at Oh, that's very kind of vintage yeah, I like that. Um, I'm looking for something in particular, and I can't seem to find it, but this is looking quite nice. Let me pull that. Oh, that is really nice. I like that. Very much. Is that another piece of it, though? Oh, so it is. Oh, I didn't even know that were in here. Mind you, I haven't actually looked in there for ages. I like this. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to probably cut one of these flowers out. I've actually got flowers in my lace drawer, but they're not this kind of flower that looks like it's um, embroidered. So I'm just going to steal one of these off it. This is beautiful. I don't know where this has come from. Might have come from... Um, I don't know, might have come from JD Stitches or it might have come from Sugar Plum and Spadger or it might have come from Scrap Creative, who knows. I don't actually know. All I know is it's beautiful. So I'm just going to do this and dress the edge up that hasn't been embossed. So if you've got embossing folders like me, mine only do like half of the A5 size. So, you know, if you've got embossing folders that don't go all the way that you want it to go, that's fine. Just dress dress the edge up, dress it up with stickers, labels, um, things, things. I think I'll have that down there. And then I want a thing to go in that thing. Um, do I want one of these? Maybe. I think I do. I think I do. So... I'll just actually I'll make it first because these crinkly ribbons do have a tendency to 
screw up but then sometimes you end up with really long legs to it and I don't always want long legs to it. Okie dokie. It's actually quite weird making bows with this stuff. <laughs> Probably be better with just normal ribbon but normal ribbon just kind of don't look as cute does it? Well it does, it does. Right so I've got a little bow there which I think is gonna yeah somehow get stuck or should I put uh, no, I'll put that down there. Right, let's get cracking. <laughs> Can you see me? You're not even in shot. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm so faffing about with my lace and my ribbons. Right, so I'm just going to stick the initial bit down, which is going to go there. And I'm not worried if that's stuck down because I've still got plenty of room to tuck stuff in there. Um, So that don't phase me. I could have not put glue on that bit, but if you're going to be pushing things in and out and that's just a bit of paper, it'd probably get a bit messy. So I'm just going to come down here with blobs of glue. Well, not blobs, because blobs would show through, but just a bit of glue here and there, just to stick it in a kind of a, a way that I want it to go, not the way that it wants to go. So it's creasing that way. So I'll put a blob of glue there. And just stick that down. And then a bit of glue on the bottom of there just to hold that down. You can leave them just kind of sticking out wherever they want to stick out. But you can also train them to where you want them to be. And why not? Because that looks really pretty. So rubbing the ink over is great. I've made a bit of a mess with these because I haven't got the raised side on the side that's going to be showing. But they're not, like I say, they're not all going to be stuck to my page and open. Some of them are actually going to be clipped in. So it doesn't really matter that much. Just put a bit of glue there. And stick you down. And then I'm just going to put a bit of glue there. And train you around this um, label a bit like that. So just hold them for a second with my 50 million hands that I haven't got. <coughs> I can't get this pin in. <laughs> I can't see. There's no point, so just don't even try. Right, so that's not sticking down. Um, so this one is pretty much not nearly done there we go no 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 you don't come up you're not allowed you're not allowed to come up right so we need this on don't we so let's get this on i really like this i have no idea where that's come from i'd really quite like some more though because that's actually all i've got it would help if i knew where it got it from though wouldn't it and I don't have a clue. Not a clue. I do buy little little um, packets from Sugar Plum and Spadger. And also JD Stitches do them. They're like about £1.50 or £1.99. And she sends you loads of, I think there's about 20 little pieces of lace and ribbon and stuff. Um, sometimes there's other little things in them as well, like little pearls and stuff. That is darn cute. So I think looking at this, you might get an idea of sort of where I'm going with my journal. <clears throat> Not fully and totally this, but oh, that is really annoying. Um, do I want some of that? that? That looks quite nice, actually. But no, I don't. I'll put that on another one. So for this, I think all I need now is a little gemstone for in the flower. Um, I've moved the gemstones, they're at this side now. <laughs> it's remembering where I've put everything. Oh, shall we have a pearl? Shall we have a pearl? Because I've got some new pearls and they're really pretty. <clears throat> put the big spots back in there, so because there's no room on your desk. None whatsoever. Have we got, no, we don't have brownie ones in here. We've got an orangey one. I don't really want an orangey one though. 
I'd rather have a pinky one. It's predominantly cream and brown, but hey, we'll have pink. There's no one saying we can't have pink. We can have whatever we want on our journal. So, tweezers, oh my goodness, tweezers. Did I have them out earlier? Are they in here? I have no idea. Sorry. The desk is back in disarray already. Where's my tweezers? Are they in there? Mm -mm, not the ones that I want, that I always work with. Are they? No, they're my new ones that do me head in, because you... Yeah, anyway, they'll have to do me head in. So I think I want one of these. <laughs> Open it, pick it up. Boop. Oh. <laughs> Did that go? Oh, whatever. Just stick a bit of glue in there, so so that you're ready. And just pick one off with your fingers. <laughs> I'm not right keen on them new tweezers, to be honest. <laughs> The mess with me head. Right, there we go. That's pretty. Put them over there. That's it. That's that's that one done. Right, next one. What we're going to do with the next one? Who? Okay, so this can be one that's clipped in because it's smaller. Oh no, that can be clipped in because um, no, it can't be clipped in. That's going to go on a page, but is it going to fit on a page? Dun, dun, dun. Well, it is if I saw it in the middle, in the journal. So this one has got a bit of a broken edge. Not a problem, is it? For us crafters, is that a problem? We'll work with the broken one. Oh, I've put the broken one away. Dear me, I don't know what I'm doing. I think my head's gone completely. <laughs> completely. Right, on this one... Oh, yeah, I want that. Oh, I've got a really funky, grungy envelope somewhere. And I don't know where I've put it, but I think it's possible with my journal stuff. Here's hoping. Is it with my journal stuff? Nope. Ooh, where have I put that really grungy envelope? I don't know. Can't find it now, but never mind. We'll have to do it with one of these. Maybe. Right, so again, I'm going to grunge the back because that's where the thing is. Now, because this one is going to be, I don't know, is it going to be clipped in the glued in? I don't know. Some are going to be glued. Some are going to be clipped. I suppose that one would have to be clipped. In which case, I'd need to do the back. In which case, I've stuck a bulky ribbon there. I don't know. I might sew it in. There's bits of this thing that I haven't actually thought through. <laughs> and that's the wrong way. Oh, gosh, typical. Right, so I'm just going to brown this up and grungy it a bit. Like I did with the other one. Can't do it so much with this bit here because this isn't the raised bit. But you can still grunge it. And I'd like a really nice... Shame I don't have one. Um, brownie metallic um, washi tape. I don't have one. That's not fair, is it? I don't have one. Hmm. Thinking, what can I? What can I use? Right. Well, I'm going to go brown and white with this. Don't all fall off your seats. Yes, I did say white. <laughs> But Sue, you don't like white. I know I don't like white, but actually, do you know what? I'm going to go grungy, white, and um, blue. Yep, blue. Blue. Let's do this. Right, so this one is going to be... Actually, this is all right. It doesn't matter whether the impression's the right way or the wrong way. It still looks cool. I still really like this. So, oh, we've got this bit to deal with. Oh, I think I need to do this on a plain envelope, really. Or one that I've embossed completely. I might have to run it through the embossing machine again. The one I saw wasn't on a um, 
It wasn't on an embossed envelope. But never mind. Never mind. I saw this envelope on Pinterest and it just keeps popping into my life because then I went on Timo looking for some dies because I don't have, um, I've got some kind of swirly flourishy dies but I don't have any tall stemmed flower dies. So I went on Timo looking for tall stemmed flower dies and this envelope popped up again and I'm like, oh wow, what's that doing on Timo if it was someone else's idea? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it were on Timo, so... And then I went on Shein because I couldn't find what I wanted on Timo, or I could, but Timo, I've deleted Timo, I'm sorry to say. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute. But anyway, I went on Shine, Shein, um, looking for tall stem flowers, and guess what came up? That envelope again. So I'm like, okay, that envelope is calling me because it really wants me to make one. Not exactly the same, but... Yeah, oh, it's so pretty. It is really so pretty. But it's quite grungy and a really dark brown kind of. But it is gorgeous. Um, I'll show you a picture of it, but it's on my phone. Because <laughs> I screenshotted things. I don't know if it's have a bit of this down there, but for what I'm doing, it's... Um, I think what I'm actually going to do is stamp down there. So, but would that look strange? I don't know. Um, mm, I'm just thinking now. Um, okay. Uh, not wide enough, too wide. Okay. Um, did I get the script ones out? I thought I did. On this desk, who knows? Let's get rid of the wet wipes and the brown doodah. Ooh, the brown doodah. Ooh, could crumple. I'll do that on a plain one. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, my head's all over the place. Buzzing with ideas. Um, and I've lost my scripts. I could have sworn I got the script stamps out. Clearly not, because it's still sat here on the side. Right, I think I'm just going to use this little one. I'm sick of all them falling out. Um, I'm just going to, I probably should use the block. Do I know where the block is? Yeah. I didn't actually, but just luckily it were in there. Right, so we're going to put some brown script ink down the edge. The envelope I saw did not have this on it. I'm going to take it off there because I know as soon as I turn it around, it'll fall off. I know it. And then I'm going to press it down. So, oh, beautiful, beautiful. I love script. I love script and script papers and stuff. There's a lot of things I love in junk journaling, but I really do adore script. Lace, all that sort of thing. Embossed doodads. Beautiful. Oh, wow. I love it. Just get a bit more ink on that because I didn't quite come out. Oh, okay. Still didn't come out. Come on. Just want a little bit of script there. Right on the edge. There we go. Do I put some up there? I suppose I could. Why not? Can't see it, never mind. Um, right. <coughs> As this is probably going to get shot. It does. No, it ain't going to get shot. It's a stick down one. So this is a stick down one in the page. Right, here I go. Oh my goodness. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Can I remember how it looked? Let's just make um I okay, so I might want some of that. And I definitely want some of the white one I got out that's disappeared. This one. This one. Oh, where's the string gone? Oh good grief. Even if I prepare it, don't make any difference. Right, I'm just gonna make a little bow out of this if I can. I might be better doing it with the straight bit on the inside. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try and make a little bow out of this lace. I don't know if it's going to work because who knows? I can't even get hold of it. Where is it? That's the bit I'm pulling through. Okay, so where are we going with this? 
but it's a bit hard to pull it back through when it's ripple it and it's turned itself round anyway. <laughs> I didn't want the straight edges up there, I wanted the fuzzy edge. Oh gosh, now you just pull it and it opens again. Okay, keep going, keep going, just keep doing it. I think that's fine. That's about, <sighs> yeah, yeah, scissors. I'm buried under a load of stuff again. Um, that a... looks about the same length to me ish. Yeah, that's cool. That looks fine. Um, uh, string. I had string. I don't know where string's gone. There's string. String. Come on, string. Right, I'll just put the string there for a minute. Right. What I really need first is die cuts. And I don't know if I've got enough of them. What I need actually first is this. And, oh, daubers, daubers, um, blue, blue, because I said we were going blue, didn't I? Actually, blue looks really nice in vintage stuff, doesn't it? Oh, good grief. I could try to have the drawer out so I can fit more stuff on my desk, but the drawer keeps going in. Right, um, let's get the blue, if I can. Now, do I have the middle ones blue? I want one blue, one brown. Let's just have a mix, eh? Hey? Let's have a little old mix. And there's the brown ink. Oh, my dears, it's such a mess on this desk already. I felt like I had loads of room earlier, but now I'm just like, oh, my goodness. So, uh, do I want the... Yeah, let's have the big one. Let's have this big one. We'll have this big one blue. So I'm just going to, oh, it's quite a dark blue, crungy. This would have looked fab on that other envelope I've got. It's going to look fab on this envelope as well. Yeah, um, I love white die cuts. I've gone white, white die cuts. Because you can colour them any colour you want. So pens, dyes, inks. Watercolour pencils, don't matter how you dye it, you can just have them any colour you want. Don't rip it off, Sue, because you know what you're like. Bit heavy handed. Next time you look, your flower's gone and you're just left with this bit of stark sticking out. <laughs> that would not look very good on my channel. Most <laughs> people going through it were like, what, what's this random stark stuck here for? <laughs> Is it a stark? It's just a bit of paper. Okay, stop taking it back off onto your fingers. Right, so we've got a blue one. Okay, I like that. Should we have? Yeah, I think we will. But it depends how many I've got, because I need quite a few, actually. So I think I'll have two brown ones. Oh, I've only got one left. <gasps> oh, I had these sent to me, so I've only got these. I ain't got any more. Um, I kind of wanted more than one blue, but never mind. I'll just work with what I've got. Work with what I've got. So, uh, it might be better doing this with the um, Dubry brown brush. Might be better doing it with these because they're softer. This is actually a vintage photo I'm using this time, which is unusual for me. I'm usually on the ground espresso, aren't I? <laughs> We're having a change. We're having vintage photo. So actually, these could do with being pretty dark brown, really, couldn't they? Although the envelope, envelope isn't that dark. Crikey, I think it's better than Dob. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Be there three hours inking that. Good grief. I actually thought that brush would be better because it, you know, like I say, I can be a bit heavy handed. There we go. So we've got two brown ones and a blue one. I could also do with a couple of white ones. I could even have some pink ones, but I don't have that many. So I've got one white one 
I'm just thinking how I want these to go. Maybe, maybe. Mm -mm. I don't know about having white now, but then I've got this, which also isn't white. It's coffee dyed. Now, I think what I might have to do is just snap that into two. <laughs> I'm on the short su supply, guys. What can I say? Short supply. Right, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. These have actually been coffee dyed, but never mind. It doesn't matter. Where's my envelope now? Right, where's my bow? There's my bow. There's my doodad. Do I want a word? Do I want a word? Oh, I might want a word. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Right, I've now got to figure out how the heck I'm putting these things. Um, okay, let me do that on the back of here. Just um, slip that in there. Because I kind of want them. I'm going to lay it out and see how I want it to look. I kind of want it to look like, actually, if you get the really long stemmed ones, they can go from the bottom of your envelope. But mine obviously can't. I don't mind if they stick out because obviously we're going to put things in this. So it's maybe not the greatest thing that is sticking out. What's going on with you? Um, but I'm just going to go for it here. I think that should go there because it... Duh. You can turn it over, Sue. Right, so that could go there. This one could go, I don't know, that's quite a long one, that, isn't it? Okay, that could go there. And then we could have a brown one there. Oh, I don't like that. I think that's got to go in the middle. Sorry, I'll be shufty in all these for about an hour now. Sorry. <laughs> I'll try not to be shufty in them for an hour. You might just switch off. Um, okay, so maybe... Um, is that the brown one? No, that's the brown one. Right. Maybe that can go there. And maybe that can go there. And how cool that they go like that. You can't really see them. Oh, dear me. Okay. So that can go there. And then there were some little ones. Kind of. bottom like that in the corner take you off like that can go there and maybe these can just go here um mm -hmm. okay now we've got the bow the bow is not going to look right there so these are going to have to be stuck up a bit more oh this is why I'm glad I laid it out before I actually um, stuck anything. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Trial and error, though. You know, we've got to we've got to try things and see how it looks, haven't we? If it looks stupid, then there's not a point in doing it. Right. So I think these are going like this. Yep. And that there. So I'm sure somewhere at the bottom on the envelope I saw, but. Whatever, it looks nice. And then that can happily sit there. Right, let's go for it. Get the glue. The glue is all bunged up because I didn't put my pin in it. Right, I'm just gonna just gonna glue wherever. Whatever I come to, I'm gonna glue it. Gosh, glue will come out now. So yeah, this was um an envelope that kept following me around social media and I just thought it is so pretty I really want to do it I don't have the same die cuts obviously but still it can look good and pretty and cool just use what we have don't we I'm really bummed because I couldn't find um the long stemmed flowers the best long stemmed flowers were on Timu but has anybody else noticed how Timu's prices have really shot up? And when I say shut up, you used to be able to get a single die for like 88 pence or a pound 
They're now £3.28 or £4 odd. Um, there was a set of like four dies and that was £6 something. And I'm like, whoa, these prices have really gone up. Um, and then the other thing that I didn't really like about Timu was you have to spend a tenner. So if you want two things, it's not a lot of point in going on Timu because you have to spend a tenner. Unless, of course, the thing you're buying is a tenner. Um, but if you're wanting just like little dies and things. So I didn't quite like that because sometimes I just want a couple of random packets of stickers and it's like four quid. But you have to spend ten. But now Cheeky Leakies have put it up to 15. So on every order, your minimum order is £15, which is great if you're buying a few things. But, you know, if you just want a top up of something that you've had before and you only want a couple of things. That, oh, I've put, put glue on the flower, didn't I? I'm not actually sticking the flower down. So mm, you stay like that and just dry. So, yeah, I um, I saw that I couldn't get what I wanted. It had gone really expensive. And it wasn't just the craft stuff. It was everything has gone up. Um, I saw some rolls of washi tape on there that were a box of 18 and they were like three quid and now they're nearly seven quid. And I'm like, OK, Timu's hiking the prices up. Got us all reeled in and then started whacking prices up and then when I saw it with 15 quid minimum order I just thought nah nope sorry delete app so it's gone Timu has gone out of my life which is probably a good thing um but I've still got Sheen um I haven't got AliExpress because I had to take AliExpress off of my tablet because my tablet won't link to my wi-fi uh, but I can get AliExpress on my phone, but I'm just happy with Sticky Machine, to be honest. I do like AliExpress and a lot of the stuff, but it takes forever to get here and I don't really, you know, need it. So, and I collect points on Sheen. I only really spend stuff when I've got points. So I don't need to do the flowers. Just remember that. I don't need to do the flowers. The flowers are not sticking down. Probably just to there would be enough. Okay, there we go. So just sticking that about there. And I've got a bit of glue issues here. Get that off. And let's stick that down. Whoops, not to my finger, please. Right, and then we've got my little bow, which is going to go about... Mm, I was going to put it there, but I'll have to put it there now because... I don't want to cover that flower. I don't really want to cover them, but hey ho, I'm going to put this on. And stick that there, which actually hides a bit of that glue. I need to get that off. I'll get it off with my glue rubber in a bit. All right. Keep holding you up because we don't want you to stick down. Yeah, I think these brown ones would have looked nicer if I hadn't a grunge the envelope. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, doesn't matter. So then I'm just going to get a bit of string. And how am I going to do this? Am I going to do a... I'm going to do a... I kind of want to do a double. Oh golly gosh, just pull tight, please. Um... Can I go in and... Do another behind it. Oh, do I just stick two together and do a bigger one? I think. Oops. Oh, all sorts on this desk. They might be a bit long, but yeah. Actually, that's all right. Can you can you see it? Um, it is, I should have probably got a thicker bit of string out, but never mind. I'm just going to do two. I'm going to do two and just put them over top of each other. <laughs> Fingers and thumbs, girl. Fingers and thumbs. Is it cup of tea time? I think it is. Come down. Smaller. I might have this one a little bit bigger 
so it kind of shows behind the other. So let's get that and stick, 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 stick. I think I'm going to have that like that on top of there, and then have this other one on as well. Oops. Okie dokie. And stick that one on as well so it looks double. I could have just whizzled them round a bit, couldn't I, and just stuck them down. But, you know, I may have to do everything the hard way. And I think I just want um, just to stick, just stick, preferably not to me. Um. It need anything else? He didn't have anything else on the picture that I saw. Oh, good grief. <laughs> well, I think I maybe need a bit more glue on there because uh, it's not, it's sinking in the lace, isn't it? I need to fill this up again, I think. Just get a big blob of glue on there and plop that right in the middle. I can't remember if it had a little button. I don't think it did. Or did it? Have I got a really little button? I probably have. Actually, I've got a bag of buttons in here that I found downstairs. Because my other buttons are up there on the shelf and I can't be bothered getting them down. So they're a nice tiny little, a little um, pearly one would look nice, wouldn't it? Um, I have got little ones, but in here they're pretty much all yellow. And I don't want yellow. This is a tiny little blue one. Um, no, I don't think so. Oh, it's typical, isn't it? Just when I decided I wanted a tiny little button in there, I'm going to have to get up now and go up here. Oh. So... Here we go. I think I'm only going to get two envelopes done, guys, because we're on 52 minutes. Oh, my goodness. 52 minutes to do two envelopes. <laughs> Good grief. Oh, I've got a blue one. Oh, come on. Don't, don't go down to the bottom. Oh, I've got a green one instead. Oh, ooh, that's nice. That's beautiful. That's a very pearly one. Oh, I love that. A bit big though. I actually saw a tiny blue and it's right there. Don't move. Don't. Don't disappear into the others. Is that it? Yeah, that's actually that kind of colour as well, which will do. Oh, there's a pearly one there. That's bigger, a lot bigger. Okay, we'll go with that because time is of the essence. And I was going to do another envelope, but I think you're only getting two tonight. <laughs> but I think you get the gist of where I'm going with all of this. Um, and it's just um, to give you a few ideas too. Uh, where did my bottom go now? <laughs> just, oh, it's on my finger. <laughs> oh, dear me. Yes, so... There we go, we've only done, well, we did the embossing. What I really should have done is embossed a few envelopes before I started. Because you didn't really need to see me embossing, did you? But anyway, there we go. Let's just keep that there for a second. Hopefully it'll stick. Hopefully. And then, yeah, I've tidy my desk again. <laughs> I've still got a load of stuff to sort out on the windowsill and I'm kind of dreading it because there is loads. Yeah, on this one, when I was doing this one, I thought it'd be nice maybe to have just like a little vintage photo. Usually when I do videos, I always think of other stuff after I've finished, after I've turned the camera off. Um, but you could put a little vintage tiny photo on there or you could put some paper flowers on. Obviously, you can decorate them however you want. You could put lace all the way around the top because you're going to be tucking things in. Um, yeah, it's up to you. You can stamp them, ink them, lace them, whatever you like. Or die cut them. 
use die cuts because die cuts are something I don't use very often and they're so pretty. I just cut that one, that's a bit long. Um, but there we go, that's done. So I'll take that out now. Oh gosh, I think my flower's stuck to it. Oh, yeah, it has. Uh oh, only a little bit. Oh, maybe a lot. No, only a bit. <laughs> Come on. Right, so actually, it looks. <laughs> It looks better with the white piece behind there because they show up more. Yeah, these brown ones, I think at the envelope I saw, maybe they were a lighter black brown because the envelope were really dark and grungy, but it's a similar kind of thing to what I've seen. And actually, I'm quite happy with that. It looks pretty and I like it. I think I might rub a bit of my gold. Come on, let's do it before I go off camera. Let's do it. Okay, stick that bit of paper back in then. And I need to lift that one a little bit, which is difficult because that's actually stuck on the envelope. And we'll get a bit of um, mouth liquid <laughs> and put that on there and do that one. So maybe they just kind of show up a little bit more. And I'm actually going to use this gold paint on some of my envelopes that are embossed as well. So there we go. How stinking pretty is that? I like that. I quite like it with the white in the background because it all shows up a bit more. But that was my vision. <laughs> Maybe I should have used just all lighter stuff and white stuff. But I did want the blue in there. So there we go. That's another one. Hope you enjoyed this little um, whatever it is demonstration ideas and um yeah we'll be back for more of sue's journal ideas so thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon bye